Well, to me, endorsement is, is a big embrace. It, it basically shows that you know I pretty well agree with an individual uh, on almost everything. Now, that's not going to necessarily be the case with, with our nominee. It's been my intention to support the Republican nominee. And again, nobody can predict the outcome of this thing. So I think, I think things are remain reasonably uncertain. Uncertainty reigns. Welcome back. I'm John Bachman sitting in for J.D. Hayworth. That was Republican Senator Ron Johnson of Wisconsin over the weekend talking about another movement, perhaps, in the works to oust Donald Trump as a GOP nominee. Will it work? Let's discuss that further and welcome via Skype host of Viewers View, YouTube personalities Diamond and Silk, uh, two people I've always wanted to interview. And this is my first interview. Ladies, welcome. Great to speak with you. Thank you. Hello, Thank you for having us. us. All right. I don't know who goes first, Diamond or Silk. I'll let you guys decide. But over the weekend, uh, there was a nationwide conference call uh, that appears to be reigniting anti-Trump efforts. Reportedly, about a hundred or a thousand Republicans took part in the call, including some who will be delegates at the convention next month. The last time a call like this took place, only 50 people took part. But again, this time, about a thousand, at least according to the reporting. Any concern on behalf of you two ladies that the Republican Party might be serious about trying to throw the nominee overboard? Well, you know, let's hope that the Republican Party isn't serious about this. Mm -hmm. They're going to mess around and the party is going to be obsolete That's when right. you go against the will of the people. Mm -hmm. This Stop Trump movement, putting somebody in place, we're not voting for nobody. We only voted for one man and one, one man, man only, and that's Donald J. Trump. That's right. So they better deal with it. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's take a listen to uh, Trump responding to these reports about this conference call. Here he is. So I hear they want to try and do something at the convention. Wouldn't it be funny if Trump gets record-setting votes, the biggest in history, has unbelievable number of states, and somebody that was beat like a drum says, our nominee is that. First of all, it's not legal, can't do it. Second of all, the Republican National Committee is with me 100%. All right, Donald Trump says the Republican National Committee is with him 100%. Are you guys buying that? Well, we hope that they're behind him. Mm -hmm. But if they're not, the people is going to be behind him. That's and right. they're going to have some problems if they try to take this from Donald J. Trump. Mm -hmm. He is the nominee. He had uh, over 14 million people come out to vote for him, for him. in this primary. That's right. So they better give it to what we, the people, want them to give it to. Mm -hmm. They better give it to Donald J. Trump. That's right. All right. Well, we know you guys will be there, or at least have your voices be there and be heard if, if something happens in Cleveland. Let's also, ladies, welcome in Randy from Newport, Kentucky, who's calling in. Randy, great to have you with us. Well, thank you, John. My pleasure. Go ahead. What's your question or comment? Well, I was uh, uh, commenting about the guns. Uh, the Second Amendment and so forth. I don't see anyone getting rid of the Second Amendment, but uh, I do see the Democrats chipping away at it. Mm. Uh, that, And they're using it as a tool to detract from what's going on in our country. The, the economy, the borders, ISIS, they're using that just uh, so people can think of nothing more than gun control and forget about all this, like, like they've forgotten about uh, all the things that he's done in the past, like usurped the Congress in, uh, in his writings. Uh, and who are you referencing I, there specifically, Randy? Who, who do I represent? You're talking about President Obama? Yeah, I'm talking about o Obama Yeah, usurping the government or usurping the uh, Congress in um uh, yeah, and you can make that case. He's done this uh, many, in many areas, uh, including uh, his uh, DACA, his deferred action on uh, illegal children, letting them stay in this country. Uh, those those are, have all been used as examples of President Obama uh, skirting con uh, Congress. Uh, but Diamond and Silk, this issue of gun control, in our prior segment we were talking with pollster John Zogby and how the Democrats believe this is one of those areas that they can uh, shore up support among African-American voters. What do you think? Oh, absolutely not. Mm -hmm. Listen to me. You know what? People are so tired of the left pushing their agenda. Yes. It's not about guns. It's the ones that use the gun. Mm -hmm. That's what it's about. How about, do, how about having drug control? Mm -hmm. How about stopping drugs from crossing our borders? That's how right. about that? Yes. You're so worried about taking away people's guns, but it's not about guns. It's the people that use the guns, because if it's right. not a gun, it'll be something else That's that they'll right. use. Do we ground all of the planes? Do we stop making vests? Do we stop? Uh, do we ground uh, 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 any type of tools that people use other than a gun? 
whenever people want to inflict terror over here in America, they're not just using guns; they're using a, other, a lot of other things, right? So, Including uh, pressure cookers, and we'll talk. We'll talk about that very aspect of this of this debate with our uh, trusted Newsmax viewers coming up in the next segment. I also want to welcome in uh, Rita, who is joining us from your Belinda, California. Rita, thanks for being with us. You say the media has it all wrong when it comes to Donald Trump. What do you mean? Right. Well, well, to me, they misinterpret his words, you know, blatantly when he says he's not going to allow Muslims come in. He's not saying like forever. He said, let's first fix the problem. You know, the wheel was squeaking. Now the wheel is broken. We've let so many right. immigrants in and we're not keeping track. Of, and, and a lot of them is not being venting. I mean, look at what happened in San Bernardino. Look, I mean, look at that wasn't the only attack. There are a few other attacks that happened. That couple in, um, you know, that, that couple, too. I'm, I'm just all excited right now. But <laughs> anyway, I just feel that, and, I mean, they need to, the Republicans need to back up Trump and not be yes. looking him under, a, you know, one of those, uh, you know, a, a, under a glass. I mean, they really need to to look at Hillary if they want to condemn anybody. Her, I think, you, I, um, I, I think you're right, Not only email. Yeah. You're not right about the email. focus on Hillary. You're absolutely right about the focus on Hillary. And Diamond and Silk, you know, I mentioned this at the beginning of the program. Uh, yes, the Republican Party needs to do a better job of supporting Donald Trump, rallying behind him, uh, kind of wrapping their arms around him and helping him guide down that path to make sure that he can be successful as he can as the nominee. But to a certain extent, Donald Trump also has to support the Republican Party. Or am I all wrong about that? Well, he's, he's giving his support to the Republican Party. That's right. It's time for the Republican Party to support him mm -hmm. and going against him, analyzing everything he's saying, and then getting on national TV, saying words that the left can use sound bites in a commercial. That is just... Yeah, you're right. You, you, you guys are right about that. They, they, the Republican Party has to be very careful about providing uh, Priorities USA with ammo. Uh, and making That's their jobs funny. very easy to make these campaign commercials. Uh, but this is like a marriage. You know, this, this analogy has been used before. Donald Trump and the RNC, they are in a marriage now. Both sides need each other. Uh, and it's going to be a lot harder for either one of them to, to do what they want to do in November if they are divided. And maybe this Corey Lewandowski firing today is a sign uh, of, the, of the RNC or the GOP saying, look, Trump, we need to uh, focus on uh, this infrastructure and getting this, uh, this campaign actually built up. Uh, here is Corey Lewandowski earlier today talking about uh, his uh, meeting with Donald Trump. Here's what Lewandowski had to say. I think, you know, what has been clear from the get-go that my strategy has been and um, at some level was successful is let Trump be Trump. And you've got a person who has completely changed the way that politics is viewed in this country for the better. Guys, even Donald Trump admitted that they are in a new phase of this campaign. It's a general election. You're not just talking to pr uh, primary voters who are fired up. You've got to convince people who might not be 100 percent sold on Donald Trump yet that he's the guy they should support for, pre for president. Do you guys see this as a step in the right direction? Well, you know, anything that Donald Trump do, I think it's a step <laughs> in the right direction. That's right. So, you know, if he have to fire somebody or let somebody go, mm -hmm. you know, sometimes people can just take you so far mm -hmm. and then somebody else can take you the rest of the way. Exactly. So we understand that. Corey Landowski did a phenomenal job. Now it's time for someone to take Donald Trump the rest of the way so we can go ahead and win this White House and he can become the 45th president of the United States. And people come into your life for a reason, a season, or a lifetime. Mm -hmm. So sometimes some people season in for a new one to begin. That's right, yeah. I'm going to use that one if I got your permission. All right, that's a great one. All right, uh, I guess I also wanted to talk about this because this was concerning today. Apparently somebody in Las Vegas tried to take a gun uh, from a police officer and kill Donald Trump. Ladies, real quick, your reaction. My reaction is this, lock him up and yes. throw away the key for all, for, for, for what I, I'm not concerned about. The person that did this, lock, lock him up and throw yeah. away the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People got to understand that this is a serious time right now. We're trying to do something to save our country. All of this foolishness and all of this protesting has to stop. Mm -hmm. Right. Get, look at the bigger picture here. You know, you want to talk about Donald Trump going to do this and going to do that and going to set us back. But look at the current administration and look at how you already set back. That's right. It's time to do something different here. And we want Donald Trump. Right. And it's time to respect our police officers, too. Yeah. He That's should true. be locked up. And, and those police officers obviously did a great job today. It's a good thing the Secret Service was on point. Even if you hate oh, Donald Trump, you don't want to see any of our presidential candidates get hurt on the campaign trail. That would be a national tragedy, no matter what your political affiliation is. Time for one last call. Robert, go ahead. Oh, uh, yes. How are you? Great to hear from you. Robert. Okay. Um, I'm calling about a gentleman that called you a while back that said um, that no automatic uh, machine guns or anything were able to be bought. 
uh, in this country. Well, I guess you never heard of a C&R license from ATF. That's true. You can get special. Or ex-military men to have, uh, you know, any kind of uh, like the Tommy guns or German. Robert, Tommy Robert, guns. Robert, yeah. we're running out of time. I, I'm just going to cut you off right there because we got to go to a commercial break real soon. You know, it, it's true. Uh, there are ways to uh, to obtain automatic weapons in this country, but there are very strict background checks. Uh, people have been grandfathered in. It's not easy to do. It's not the case. The issue I believe that our caller had is that too often Democrats confuse those automatic weapons uh, with these single shot semi-automatic yeah. rifles. And that's where that's where the confusion takes place. We got to run. Diamond and Silk, I want to say thank you very much. It was a pleasure to speak with you both. And good luck out there. Thank you for thank having you. us. All right, coming up, we're going to talk with our focus group about gun control right after this.